Hello, starting out solitary. I'm your Monday host, and this week we're talking about the summer solstice. So for me, the summer solstice is really just about celebrating life and enjoying it, because as much as I love my organized rituals and everything, um, I really like just going out and like seeing the world at the summer solstice. That's it. Um, because sadly, it always freaking falls like right on, right around Father's Day, and you're just like. So you either got to celebrate it before or after, which is what happened this year. Um, but like the summer solstice is just, it's such a party time, really. Um, at least here, it's like from all of July is really just this pumped up party time where you got your barbecues, you got your campfires at night, you're going to the pools, you're going to lakes. You're going camping. You're just having fun and enjoying life. And, I mean, there's such an energy because you've got the 4th of July. So you got all the fireworks. You're going to go see the fireworks. You're going to have your 4th of July party and your barbecue. And then you got the 24th of July because it's Utah. So you've got it all over again in the same month. So it's just like a really big barbecue party month. Not like the party like in the club and you're drinking and being idiots. But, like, having fun, getting together with your family, you know, the kids are playing in sprinklers and having their slip and slides, and the adults are just chilling, floating around on the pool, floaty things in the pool and chilling, and just watching the fire, sitting outside in the morning, having a cup of tea. Like, just really cool, just chill parties. That, to me, is what summer's all about. As well as, like, you know, going camping and, like, all that. Um... And so, for me, that's just sort of what it's represented now. Because over the past few years, it's sort of what I've been doing around this time. And so, I don't know, that's the main focus for me on the summer solstice. Um, but some things that I would kind of recommend, I guess, um, for like a spiritual thing to actually do. <laughs> so, if you do buy a real tree at Yule, save it, and then burn it now. <laughs> Um, now I don't burn all the little limbs that make the Christmas tree. I save those because that is perfect fire starter. Like seriously, just hook it on and it's like, boom, it's fantastic. But the like main stick pole thing, burn that in a ritual, um, at the summer solstice if you can. And so that's one thing that I do. Um, if you don't have that, you can do a sun candle just like you did at Yule. Um, and it's also a great time to think of, like, what you wanted to accomplish at Yule for this year. Because you're at Yule, you're like, oh my god, it's the new year, woo! Have you actually accomplished squat of your list? I know I haven't. At all. Just, so, it's a great time to kind of check in and see if you still want to accomplish those goals and why and how you're going to actually do that. Because it's halfway through the year. What are you doing? <laughs> um... So then, the other thing that I like to do, and this sort of happened without realizing it, is that I like to travel around the summer solstice. Like, 2013, I went to Michigan. Last year, I went to Pineview. This year, for the summer solstice season, because this weekend is actually Father's Day, um, I don't know if that's everywhere or not, but here it's Father's Day. <laughs> um, but after... The Father Day celebrations. We're actually going to a labyrinth here in Utah and I really encourage you at this time of the year to find kind of a sacred place to go to in your area. Like you don't have to get a passport and travel clear the F to England to go to Glastonbury and be like, oh look at the pretty temple, look at the tour, look at the chalice well, maybe with an S, I'm not sure. Like as much awesomeness as that would be to go there, you can find things near you. Like, Utah, we're kind of not a big pagan area. As much as we hear, not me, but everyone else, like, is like, oh, we got so many. It's like, no, no, we don't. We don't. Stop kidding yourself. Um, it's just not a big of a culture here because, like, we are the capital of the world for the Mormon church. So if you're Mormon, please come here. We have so many attractions for you you'll be just having the blast. Like, it is pretty cool. But, if you're pagan, you gotta kinda hunt a little here. And so, I found a labyrinth. 
and I'm planning on walking that. And I might do Zion's because it's like it's like Zion's National Park, Labyrinth, I think. That's how it sort of sounded. Not entirely sure, <laughs> but uh, it wasn't. I don't think in the middle of nowhere, unlike another labyrinth here. It was like literally you looked at the hotel that was supposed to be nearby. And it's like nothing as far as the eye can see. And there was like self-service and self-check-in. And you're like, oh god. I've seen Stephen King movies. This is a bad idea. So this other one looks a little more legit. But to me, it's just sort of a time that I want to go each year and walk the labyrinth. Um, as well as going to some places that I used to as a kid. Because there was like some rock formations like right by there. My aunts live down in southern Utah. So like visit them, go to these rock things. Um, they've got like the hieroglyph. I think that's the word. I haven't said that word in like ever. It's weird. Like you forget a word. You haven't said it for so long. And then you're like, is that the right one? Ah. <laughs> so I think that's the right word. Where it's the drawings on the walls that you can go to. Um, but for me, that's just sort of what this time of the year is all about, is just going there and just exploring and chilling with family, having barbecues, and just chilling. Like, even when we're going to be down there, it's like, one aunt has a pool. You know I'm going to be in that. And, you know, having my virgin pina colada, that's going to happen. Um, but I don't know, that's just sort of like what I do for the summer solstice. Um, and it's not really that specific day, it's more of the season. Because I'm going to be in and out of water constantly and, you know, just soaking up the sun like a cat. <laughs> and, I don't know, I just, I don't know, it's probably more of a party season for me. Because it's like, 4th of July, birthday, 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 my birthday's in there. Birthday, 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 24th of July. Like, the entire freaking month is dedicated in my family to some sort of freaking celebration all the time. Like, you got that first week of July. And it's like, oh, 4th of July, cool. Let's have a party. And by party, watch Star Trek and have a fire. <laughs> but it still works. Uh, and then it's like just right after, just birthdays. We have an entire week. Basically, every single day is a birthday. It's insanity. How many birthdays we have in July in my family, it's insane. It's like so freaking many. One after the other after the other. And you're like, oh my god. So, I mean, it's just constant parties with the family. And then you've got the 4th, 24th of July. Which is basically like the 4th of July, but just for Utah, I think. Because uh, I think that's when we became a state. So then you've got like the days of 47. A lot of cities here have like their anniversary of becoming a city. Mine doesn't because it's technically not a city. It's like a bar failed and a gas station. That's how small I live of in a town. But I don't know. To me, it's just celebrating life, and that's what summer solstice is all about. So hopefully that made sense. This is the first freaking time I've got to the end. I have tried for an hour. I am starving. I want to go have my fruit smoothie and sit outside like a house cat in the sun and be like, yes, it's so warm. That's literally all I do in the summer and write a book. Ah, oh, constantly writing. It's great. So anyways, also, just side note, check it out. I made a book case yesterday. Just had to point that out. Because this is my recording area now. And I did it upside down. See, it's like, it's like here. It's like not. Welcome to me being a genius. But, uh, enjoy that. All the OCD people. As, yep, that happened. So anyways... Because I had too many books, and now I have not enough books to cover the other bookcase that I bought. So, hey, I'm just waiting for July so I can buy things. But anyways, um, hopefully that made sense. This was a lot of trying to record, so if it makes no sense, it's because I'm, like, starving. I want food. And it's hot. If you're going to guess by my hair being crazy, it's, like, really hot. I don't turn the air conditioner on very much, so it's, like, melting hot already. That's probably why this video makes no sense. So anyways, enjoy my insanity. Um, and please subscribe, check out the next videos to come. They're probably more informational. You'll realize that soon. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to all of our personal channels. They will be linked down below. And until our next video, thank you for watching and blessed be.